Hey y'all! My name is Dasha and this is Natural Hair Daily. And yes, I know that it is 3.08 on technically Thursday morning. And I've committed to doing these every single day. Um, so before I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to do today's episode of Natural Hair Daily. Um, I ended up being in, um, me and my fiance were in a meeting with one of our mentors, a couple of our mentors, for much longer than we planned. And then, I think we got home, we got home after midnight, and then we got home and had some heart-to-heart -heart conversations, because that's what we do. We have deep conversations in this household. And, um... Now he's in the shower, so I'm going to get this video done before I go to sleep. Because I have made this commitment to both y'all and myself. It's a, a building in self-trust exercise to do what I said I was going to do. Which is record a video for y'all every single day. So here it is. I hope y'all are asleep and that you will see this later. <laughs> um, today, just because of the conversations that I've had in the past couple of hours, I really wanted to touch on a slightly different aspect of hair and who I am and what it is that I believe and how I go about my day-to-day -day life and really how that relates to hair. I will share that as well. And um, this really comes from some conversations that I've had with my mentors as well as conversations that I've had with my fiance Jacques as well. And just like where I am in life where we are in life which is a really really super exciting time and how we've been growing and how our mindsets have been shifting and changing and one thing that is easy to do especially when you're in those 20 something especially those like early to mid 20 somethings is really thinking about what you want your life to look like and you know planning for the future always planning 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 and, and thinking about all of the things that you haven't done that you want to do whether it's grow your hair like this I want my hair to look like that oh man if I would have just done that then this would be so different oh man why don't I have a house yet I'm still not married I'm still not engaged I still don't have a, a partner whatever whatever it is that you know we're chasing whatever it is that we feel like is gonna make us happy or bring us more joy or whatever that's what I really want to address today because what I am learning and what I'm growing to understand and what I've been really practicing lately is being in one of four places and when I say in one of four places I mean like as a mindset and so the first one that I will share is being in a place of gratitude. So being in a space of gratitude, you can have gratitude for the past, you can have gratitude for the present as well, and you can have gratitude for the future, which I'll go more into that in a second. But you can really be grateful for anything that's happened in your past and how it has contributed to who you are now, the knowledge that you have now, how you've grown now, how you've leveled up, how you've developed, just the, the person that it helped craft you into. Even events that we might characterize as bad or, um, you know, something or negative, um, there's a way to look at those and to find the joy in them. There's a way to look at those situations and to understand that because of that situation, something within us was birthed that we love and that makes us so much more powerful as a person and is going to allow us to impact and inspire so many more people because we experienced whatever that was that we deemed as negative and you know I don't so much believe anymore in good and bad I just believe that there is and it's healthy or it's unhealthy it's empowering or it's disempowering it's effective or it's not effective I, I really work to take the judgment words out of my vocab vocabulary and replace them with more just more powerful vocabulary and so when we look at it that way something may have been unhealthy something may have felt unhealthy and it may have been 
um, really effective in getting us to where we are currently. So when we apply that to hair, that could look like, oh my gosh, I, I'll talk about me personally, I jacked my hair up because I decided I want to put some heat on it. I decided that I wanted to straighten it just one time and, you know, maybe a little touch up for the day of the big function. Nothing major. I thought it was going to be all good. And it was. My curls came back. They just weren't the same, right? And I ended up, you know, choosing to really to cut that hair off. Not all at once. I didn't do big job number two. Still, I gradually cut that hair off. What I was able to be grateful for, because again, we're talking about gratitude, is the lesson that I got. Oh, okay, that's how my hair responds to heat. Cool. Heat in some way, shape, or form is going to impact your hair. Heat damage does not just mean that your hair is bone straight and that's the only time you experience heat damage. No, heat damage could be there are curls still intact and they just look differently than they did before or they feel differently than they did before. I didn't have that understanding really before I had that experience. And now that I've had that experience, I can share that with other people and be like, girl, if you want your hair to be at its maximum health, then stay away from the heat. That's how you're gonna get there. I know that not because I read something on Google or watched somebody on YouTube. I know because I experienced it firsthand and I've seen it firsthand. So that's gratitude for things that have happened in the past. And then there's gratitude for things um, that you're experiencing right now. Gratitude for this moment that you're in. Gratitude for the air that you are breathing, for the sight that you are seeing, for the breeze on your skin, for the sun on your face. Gratitude that you are safe in your home. Gratitude that the people that you love are safe. Gratitude for whatever. I can have gratitude for Layla over in the corner, curled up in her bed, looking so, so cute. And just feel blessed that I have this little this little fur baby in my life who loves me so much. That is me being able to recognize in my surroundings what I'm grateful for, being in a state of gratitude. And what I will say is when you're in a state of gratitude, then you attract more of what you are grateful for. So you can, you can appreciate your hair in the state that it's in right now, even if that's not ultimately where you wanna be. You can appreciate it for what it is. You can love it for what it is. You can appreciate yourself for who you are and love you for who you are. And you can still at the same time recognize that there's other things that you wanna do. There's other ways that you wanna level up. And where you are right now, be grateful. Because that'll attract more of what you desire. What you focus on grows. Where you focus your attention on is what expands. You can also have gratitude for the future. And I'm gonna to refer to that as the second main state that I work to be in, and that's a state of visualization. And so what visualization is, is when you can close your eyes or keep them open, I close my eyes, and this is the time where you get to focus on the future and what you want your life to look like. What kind of house do you wanna be in? What kind of partner do you wanna have? What kind of car do you wanna drive? What smells do you smell cooking in your kitchen or in your house? What, what sounds do you hear? Like, get deep in it. This is where you get to use your imagination. This is when you think about the future. Not a future that you're worrying about. Oh my gosh, I have to worry about this and I'm planning this. But what, what am I creating in my life? Who am I being day to day, you know, that's, that's, that's going to create what it is that I want out of my life? What do I want my life to look like? What do I want to feel like every day? What passions am I going to be doing? This is the time where you focus on your future in this way when you are visualizing about it and you, you know being grateful right now for what you're already creating. Oh man, that, that, I want a Jeep Wrangler. I want a blacked out Jeep Wrangler. Oh, I'm so thankful that when I have that Jeep Wrangler, I'm going to be able to take the top off. I'll be able to have my hair flying through the breeze. I'm going to be able to be chilling, doing whatever. You know, like, oh, man, I'm just, I'm so grateful for the way that the sun is shining on my skin.
skin and I'm warm and it's just it's a beautiful experience and I'm grateful for it already and I know it's gonna happen so that's a state of gratitude that you can really um, put yourself in in the form of visualization visualizing the future Another state or my like state of being in my mind that I really work to keep myself in is just, again, being present. Just being like, okay. Instead of your mind buzzing all over the place, thinking about all the things that you have to do, being worried about if bills are going to be paid tomorrow, being worried about if you're going to be able to do this, just be like, in this moment, I am safe. In this moment, I am alive. In this moment, I have breath in my body. In this moment, I, you know, check in. I, I feel pretty good. There's nothing threatening my being right now in this moment. It's okay for me to enjoy right now. I can sit here and take a breath and be like, hmm, it feels good for air to be running in and out of my lungs. That actually feels nice. We don't often take time to just appreciate something that we take for granted, which is just air in our lungs. Just air in our lungs. The very like fiber, the very breath in our body is a gift that we get right now that we can appreciate in the present. And sometimes we're so busy focused on everything else that we want or everything else that we're working on doing or whatever that we we don't even think about like where we are right now and we're, Focusing on the present is what's going to get you to your visualization, which brings me to the next state of being, which is um, action. So I said gratitude, visualization, just presence, and then the fourth one for me is action. And I say this because, again, a lot of times we spend a lot of time in our head planning things out, thinking about stuff, worrying about something that we can't even control in the moment as opposed to just saying, hmm, I'll just try it and see what happens. And a lot of times, I know for me and my experience, just doing something so simple, like y'all, I, I, I have been wanting to make videos on hair for literally years. Like, at least four years I've been wanting to make videos related to hair. And I've made every excuse in the book, thought about it, how am I gonna do this perfectly, and currently, you know, one day, the other day, last week, sometime, I decided I was just going to do it. I was just going to do it. I was just going to take action and figure the rest out from there. And I'm still figuring out. Like, for example, next week, y'all ain't going to have no times on when, I, <laughs> on when I'm going live because things happen. And I may or may not be able to make that exact time. And that's okay. That's something that I'm learning. Um, I learned it because I took action and I did something. And I get suggestions from y'all on more action to take because I took initial action. People, thank you for everyone who has done a survey, are giving me feedback and submitting surveys because I took initial action. And I feel like I've learned more in the last week than I have in the last four years of just thinking about it. Thinking about things over and over and over again. So I feel like when we work to stay in those spaces, when we work to you know, have a sense of gratitude, when we work to um, visualize, and that's how we address our future, when we work to be present in what it is, um, whatever experience it is that we are experiencing in that moment, and when we work to take action, as opposed to just, again, worrying about things that we can't control in the past, in the future, or whatever, then we begin to have a much more joyful, peaceful experience of life and of ourselves too. And that's what we are all playing for, I feel like. I know that's definitely what I'm playing for. So just some things that were on my mind today, a little twist on our normal natural hair daily. Truthfully though, as y'all have seen in the past, natural hair to me is about a lot more than natural hair and I will be talking about a lot more than you know, just the cliche version of natural hair that is only about hair because so much more impacts your hair than just how you moisturize it. I guarantee you that. And you're going to hear about a lot more from me. So, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Natural Hair Daily. And I will catch you later on today. <laughs> 
for the next episode of Natural Hair Daily. But I'll see you there, y'all. Bye.